Graeme, commiserations, you came very close to what would have been a very hard-earned point. How difficult is that one to stomach at the end? Um, look, I thought our lads, our lads gave everything. Yes, yeah, Stockport were obviously a better team. We expected that. We know that. They're, that, they're up that end of the table for a reason. Uh, the pressure was relentless. Air lads stood tall. Uh, we didn't have a particularly good game with the ball. Uh, but defensively, we were organised, we were structured. I mean, I thought we were very, very good defensively. I thought Nick Townsend was outstanding. And uh, look, the good teams, they, they, uh, they get decisions. They get breaks of the ball. Yeah. And uh, look, on a whole, in, in, in fairness, on the, on the whole, Stockport probably deserved to win the game. Let's let's have that right. But under the circumstances and what happened, I just thought I, I thought we deserved to come away with a clean sheet, given the given the defensive structure, the organisation, and the uh, and, and the commitment that the lads showed. It's a really really hard one to take when you see a midfielder exact same incident and the free kick is given against Aaron Wildig. And the exact same incident, he gives it to them, uh, which led to the goal. So, yeah, look, again, it's, it's, it's a really, really tough one to take, to be honest. Refereeing aside, and obviously the defeat aside, how proud are you of your players today and the way they stood up to the challenge? Yeah, look, it was a difficult afternoon. As I said, we weren't great with the ball. Um, we didn't create an awful lot. We were looking for one or two moments. Um, we weren't decisive when we got on, um, got on the back of them. We weren't clinical. So uh, on a whole, and, and let's have a right, on a whole, I, I'm, I'm thinking Stockport probably deserved to win the game because they were the better team, they had the more chances. But when you're in a game like that, you, you feel you really, really, you dig deep, you bite down on your gum shield and you try and get out of here with a, with, with, with a clean sheet. A lot of frustration from you, understandably, given the context. So with that in mind, how good is it to have another game in the week? to get this all out of your system. Yeah, look, we can't wait uh, for Tuesday. Tuesday can't come around quick enough, really, we, uh, to get, get a home game under our belt as well with, with, with our fans behind us. But, um, yeah, but this, this stings. It stings, obviously, last-minute goals. Losing 1-0 last week to Mansfield, losing 1-0 this week to Stockport. It does sting. But I think the lads have come on leaps and bounds. When I uh, first took over at the club, I think I took over on the back of a, a defeat to Rochdale. No disrespect to Rochdale, no disrespect to Crawley. I think the club was losing games to those those clubs, couldn't compete with those clubs. So I think we've come a long way in the 12, 18 months that we're able to compete with the Mansfields and the Stockports of, of, uh, of this world. So um, we're, we're building and hopefully uh, hopefully we can uh, gather up as many points as we can between now and the end of the season, finish strongly and, um, and reassess and, and see where we go from there. I'd like to say, Graham, thank you. Thank you. Cheers.